Joining me now to talk more about the wide-ranging consequences of conflict gold is a man who has spent over 30 years fighting for peace and human rights in Africa through his organization, The Enough Project. He's a New York Times bestselling author and former director for African Affairs at the National Security Council, John Prendergast. Thank you. Thanks, Ted. Thanks for doing this. We all like to think that we're the good guys, but how do I know that I'm not wearing a, a ring made out of gold that costs somebody's life? Unfortunately, we don't know, and it gets worse. It's not just the gold ring, gold earrings, it's also our cell phones and laptops. Inadvertently, we are connected as consumers of these products here or anywhere around the world. We're connected to this incredible violence in Central Africa, in the heart of Africa, in Eastern Congo. You know, the slave trade that fueled America's agricultural revolution, many of the people that were sold into slavery came from the territory that now comprises the Congo. Fast forward, our auto industry could not have taken off as quickly as it did if we didn't have this extraordinary ability to extract rubber that went into the tires for our auto industry expansion. The bombs that we dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the uranium came from Congo. Cobalt and copper that have fueled our defense industry's expansion, one of the biggest suppliers in the world is Congo. So this is just the latest iteration of a centuries-long story of extraction. It's all about greed, unchecked greed. Is it scary? I mean, you're walking into the Wild West, some of those images we saw in this film. What's that like? The stakes are very high. There's billions of dollars to be made in Congo. It's one of the poorest countries in the world, and the irony is it's also one of the richest. And it draws the worst of the worst to exploit this situation of a lack of rule of law. The governing system itself has been hijacked in order to facilitate the exploitation of this money. So if somebody comes in from the outside and wants to blow a whistle, well, your life is at risk. And the incredible thing is not a few of us from the outside that come in. There are thousands of people on the ground inside Congo, Congolese, human rights activists, journalists, and uh, women's activists and others who are studying and researching and, and blowing whistles. Some of them are killed. Some of them disappear. Some of them are jailed. And those are the heroes, I think, of the Congolese story. Usually, if you can point out to people that they're, it'll affect their wallet adversely, you all of a sudden get their attention. Is there any way to do that with this issue? There's actually an exciting history here that it turns out that gold is just one of a number of minerals that come from eastern Congo, minerals that are labeled conflict minerals. And um, some of the other minerals that go into our cell phones and laptops uh, have been the subject of a campaign led by students in the United States and around the world saying, you know what, we don't want to be connected to that violence. So companies that we're buying from, whether it's Apple or Intel or any of these incredibly right. big, important electronics companies, do something about it. So in Congo, and here's the, here's the rub, here's the, here's the exciting news. That because of this campaigning that the students have done all over the world, the electronics industry and governments around the world have moved to change the market dynamics, the supply and demand. They are only now buying conflict-free minerals from, those, right. from Congo. But gold is the one that's defied this ability because Hard it's so trace. easy to smuggle. Right. I know it's around the world, the issue, but do you need this this government to do something different? If you target particular people and sanction them and squeeze them out of the international financial system, that will create a significant deterrent to the behavior that they are uh, undertaking. People will just change the way they do business. They'll the stop. Smuggler the smuggler will. The warlord will. will. Yes, they'll, put, they'll take their military hat off, put a civilian cap on, and open up a business. For the consumer like us, I think it's really all about, if you're gonna go in and buy a product, ask the company, look it up online, is this company doing anything about the situation in Congo? So one of the messages to people watching is, you do have a huge amount of power. You have your buying power. We can make a difference, and right. we have. You're, you're really putting yourself on the line for all of us. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ted.